Hey there, fellow emailing aficionados. We know that it can be hard to choose between all of the available emailing platforms, but no matter your passions or profession, having a Gmail account is a must. Not only is it one of the most intuitive platforms on the market, featuring incredible AI technology, but it also has a renowned user interface and astounding customer experience reports. There's no question that Gmail has come a long way, but it's still a constant work in progress. Regardless, the amount of under the hood power is remarkable and you still get plenty for absolutely no cost or commitment. Essentially, no matter the intended purpose, Gmail is sure to have something for everybody. And for more on some of these exciting and lesser known features, we've put together the following video outlining a few hidden tips and tricks to help get the most out of your Gmail account. It's no secret that Gmail features a plethora of exciting features and methods to further personalize the experience. The issue is that some of these features can take a while to master, which is where learning the keyboard shortcuts comes in handy. The good news is that Gmail is plastered with valuable keyboard shortcuts to assist in just about everything that you do, most of which can be accomplished with a single click. If you want to see an overview of all the available keyboard shortcuts, then click shift question mark. However, you will first need to enable this feature, which requires you clicking on the gear icon in the top right corner and selecting see all settings. From there, go to keyboard shortcuts and set keyboard shortcuts to on. Now any new shortcut that's in the overview will overwrite the defaults. You can then click save changes once you've established your desired keyboard shortcuts. Gmail is renowned for its ease of use and convenient search methods, with more than 20 search operators you can use to find certain messages or even create your own filters. Though what many people still don't know is that you can combine search operators to create even more specific search inquiries. Some of the most basic search inquiries include locating an email from a specific sender, from, locating an email to a specific recipient, to, and finding an email that was received after a specific date, after followed by the date. But to narrow down your search even further, you can combine certain search inquiries. For example, let's say that you want to find any email that was received from a specific person within the last three months that included an attachment. In order to find this very specific email, you will need to click the drop down arrow to the right of the search box and then use the advanced search criteria to further narrow down your search. From here, you can even set up your own filters so that the search criteria is saved for future use. If you've been using Gmail for a while, or at least since 2015, then you're likely aware of the undo send feature, allowing users to recall messages that were sent in error up to 30 seconds after clicking send. When you send a message in Gmail, you'll see a pop-up notification appear on your screen that will allow you to undo in order to retrieve the email that you just sent. That being said, you'll need to be careful not to press view message, click somewhere other than the message, or wait too long because the pop-up will disappear. The good news is that you can change the time in which the pop-up disappears by going to settings, scrolling down to undo send, and choosing your cancellation period, with the options being 5, 10, 20, and 30 seconds. Nevertheless, it's something that constantly pops up, and yet it's easily one of the platform's most underappreciated features. Another exceptional feature that Gmail offers to its users is to compose an email that will automatically be deleted later on. This can become useful for emails that you don't want to be saved, copied, downloaded, or forwarded in the future. Once you've composed your email, simply go over to the clock icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the message and set an expiry date. You will also be presented with the option to set a passcode that the recipient will receive via SMS or email. From here, you simply hit save and you're all set. There's no question that we could all use a break from our inbox. 
Having to deal with the constant influx of stress-inducing emails and long work hours can really damage our motivation and self-image. This is why it's handy to know how to snooze your emails for a day, a week, or even a month if you need to, allowing you to choose when you want to see certain messages. By activating Gmail's snooze feature when you need to take a break from your inbox, your emails will only reappear when you want them to. In order to snooze an email, head over to the desired message in your main Gmail screen and click on the clock icon in the far right corner. Once you've selected how long you'd like to snooze the email for, the email will only reappear in your inbox when you're ready to respond. There's even a designated label for all of your snoozed emails on the left-hand side of your inbox, which can help you track down these later on if need be. Plus, you can always put any of these into your Tasks tab so you don't forget about them entirely. Gmail is undoubtedly one of the most innovative platforms in the world thanks to their incredibly rapid advancement in technology. Gmail now comes with a Smart Compose feature that literally finishes your sentences for you. Essentially, when you first start typing out an email, Gmail's artificial intelligence algorithm will guess what you're trying to say. If you like what you see, you can hit the Tab key and the suggested phrase will automatically populate the email. However, you will need to enable Smart Compose first. Start by going over to Settings, then General, and then head over to the Smart Compose button and make sure that it is set to On. Plus, you can even personalize it further by enabling personalization, which will allow Google's AI to tailor their suggestions to your individual preferences and habits. You can even provide feedback for Smart Compose so that Gmail can further understand what your preferences and styles are. In order to provide feedback, you can go to the More Options button at the top of your email toolbar next to the trash icon and select Smart Compose Feedback. Simply fill it out and submit to receive an even more personalized experience with Gmail. Let's be honest, spelling and grammatical errors are a common occurrence when it comes to writing, which is why it's so important to constantly check your work before you send it out. Thankfully, Gmail makes the entire process much easier for us. In order to have Gmail check the spelling and grammar in your emails, simply go to your Gmail settings. Then go to the General tab, scroll down the list, and check off the necessary boxes. Within these settings, you'll have the option to turn on grammar suggestions, spelling suggestions, and even autocorrect to help you further refine your work. That's right, it's that easy to enable, and you'll never have to worry about spelling mistakes again with Gmail. Another tremendously useful feature that Gmail carries is the ability to add third-party email accounts to your Gmail account. Let's say that you love the Gmail interface, but you really don't want to give up your Yahoo, iCloud, or Outlook email address. Well, now Google lets you add third-party email accounts to the Gmail mobile app, allowing users to take advantage of some of Google's features like spam filtering or a tabbed inbox with their Yahoo, iCloud, or Outlook account. In order to set this up for mobile devices, you will need to click on your avatar in the Gmail app and select Add Another Account. From here, you will need to pick the type of account that you wish to add and enter your personal details. This will enable full access to your accounts individually, or you can also see all of your emails in one unified inbox on your mobile device. You can always go back to the avatar and select Manage Accounts on this device to deactivate or delete an account later. However, the process is a little different if you're using a desktop. For this, you will need to hit the gear icon and select See All Settings, then Accounts and Import. Check Mail from Other Accounts, and finally, Add a Mail Account. Then in a pop-up window, you can type in the email address you want to link. Hit Next, then select Link Account with Gmail. All in all, a relatively simple process regardless of the device, and one that really should be utilized by everyone. This tip is undeniably the handiest privacy feature built into the Gmail platform. 
and helps tremendously for those looking for a more efficient way to organize their inbox. Believe it or not, your standard email doesn't have to be your only email, as you can set up other emails to be delivered to your inbox, and then automatically filter out what you deem as important. Basically, when you first go to create a Gmail account, you'll be presented with the option to create a brand new email address by simply making an alias. This can be accomplished by adding a plus sign and a word after your username to your email address, such as username plus alias name at gmail.com. This can play a pivotal role for those that want to create filters that put emails sent to one email address in a folder other than your inbox. This will help to prevent your inbox from buckling under the weight of too many promotional emails and avoid the hassle of having to jump around between accounts. If you've ever been involved in an email thread that's gotten noisy, then you're well aware of how much of a nuisance this is. The good news is that you can easily mute this conversation entirely with Gmail. Simply go to the conversation, click on the three dots at the top, and in the drop-down menu, click on Mute. This will effectively put the current conversation into the All Mail folder, along with any future replies exchanged within that thread meaning that the emails will automatically skip your inbox folder and are only visible in all mail or if you were to search for the message individually. You can always stop muting a particular conversation by selecting the unmute option in the provided menu, but it's still a valuable tip for day-to-day -day use. Regardless of whether you're a seasoned vet or a total newcomer to the platform, you've likely noticed the little stars next to each message in your Gmail inbox. Essentially, if you click on the star, then it will turn yellow, which is a great way to mark important messages for reference later on. However, what if you could categorize each of these starred messages by marking them up with different colors or symbols? Well, believe it or not, this is actually possible with Gmail you can change the star settings by going to Settings, then clicking on General, and scrolling over to the Stars option. From here, you should have a total of 12 star options to choose from, including different colored stars and even other symbols to mark these vital emails, such as exclamation points and even question marks. You can choose to use a single star, four different stars, or even all the stars to help distinguish between your important messages. The choice is yours. We get it. You're busy and constantly having to check and respond to emails takes a lot of time. As a result, you may want to delegate this responsibility to someone else to help save time and energy. Well, we've got good news for you. With Gmail, you can give someone else access to your account without any additional hassle or stress. Simply go to Settings. Then head over to Accounts and Import. And finally, click on Grant Access to your account. This will allow another user to both read and reply to messages that are sent to your inbox. Plus, you can even use the Leave Conversation on Red when opened by others toggle to see which messages you haven't personally read. All things considered a pivotal feature, especially for those busy professionals out there. We made it. We've officially gone over all the most pivotal tricks one would ever need to master in Gmail. It's without a doubt, one of, if not the, most popular email service in the world, and it's been that way for years now. Despite this, there's still millions of people worldwide who aren't completely aware of everything Gmail has to offer. Hopefully, after watching this video, you were able to gain some valuable insight and pick up on at least a few tricks that can help you become a pro at using Gmail. Lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and as always, be sure to leave a comment below to let us know how we